I saw the need, but I don't have time on Sunday evening, much time. So I said, okay, I came to see them in the office here. How can I help? They said, okay, I can, I can come during the week. Please, can you come on Fridays? So I worked out my time and I said, yes, I will come on Fridays. And I've been doing that since then to help because most people here that come here are vulnerable. They need help. Some of them are hopeless. Life, they see life in different ways, but they need people to talk to them, interact physically, interact with them, and uh, encourage them. We do three meals a day breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, and we serve about 150 people to 200 people at each meal. So, there are a lot of people who fall through the system these days. Um, the benefit system has tightened up a lot, and a lot of people find it difficult to find their way around. So, there are people who are genuinely in hardship with um, over food, over clothing, over accommodation. We hand out sleeping bags to people who are sleeping rough. We hand out clothes to people who have none. I've just spoken to a gentleman who came in begging for a pair of shoes because the ones he has are really hurting his feet and he can't afford to buy a new pair. I'm homeless, I haven't got much food and I'm really hungry and I haven't had any money for the past three days straight and I've came here every day and I've been fed. There's people that literally have no other way. I mean, if if I really put my mind to it, I could probably come across food in other ways. But places like this mean I don't have to do those things necessarily. And I think, if anything, it makes me think, oh, I can just go here and get some food. I don't have to go and shoplift. I don't have to go and rob. And, but I think there's a lot of people that come here because they feel like they fit in here and they've got friends that come here as well. Like it's a bit more than just somewhere to go and eat to some people and I think that's good for them. I think it's in, invaluable to people. A lot of people say thank you very much. We really, really appreciate it. And anyone, it seems to me that anyone can come in. They don't have to be homeless or whatever. And like I say, we all enjoy it. Well, it's very good. You know, it's a very valuable service, and there are, there are, and very unfortunately, there are many people in the city of Bristol who either suffer homelessness, but there are many other people struggling to pay their rent, and with the benefit cuts and benefit sanctions that are so rife now. It's really quite a desperate struggle for people to make ends meet. And pensions are just not keeping up with, with the cost of living, although the government says about this so-called triple lock. The biggest cause of homelessness in Bristol is private landlords evicting their, their tenants. And because of the changes in, in, in welfare payments, things like the benefit cap, things like the local housing allowance, um, what we found is that private landlords realise that they can actually make a lot more money, maybe three times as much, in, from renting to a young professional as opposed to renting to somebody who's dependent upon benefits or partially dependent on benefits. And therefore we've seen a large number of people who previously would have lived in the private rented sector uh, being ejected from that sector. I was horrified to find that the community cafe where I worked then had a food bank attached to it. I, I just hadn't really realised that this was a country which needed food banks and actually the, the use of the food bank, which is part of crisis centre ministries in fact, um, has, has escalated considerably in, the, in that four years. I mean, 
I'm, I cannot say how shocked I am at the, the way that things are going. You know, my, my children's generation are now worse off than I was at the same stage of life. People are so wonderful out there. They do give when you send out the, the, the messages and it's, it, it's called the Christian Crisis Centre for a reason because it is, it is about crisis situations. They feel valued because often in the community they're not valued and they're just seen as some sort of deadbeat person but there's a whole, oh, there's a whole lot of experience in these people that people don't tap into to understand what they are really about. They just see somebody that is homeless, down on their luck, can't support themselves. And it's not, it's not just that, but it must help them and boost them a little bit to know that actually yeah, I am a person in this world and not just a, well, yeah. I can't even express yeah. it because it's upsetting me now thinking about it because people do frown upon people that are homeless and who are down on their luck and and it shouldn't be that way but that's the way some people see it but as I said earlier we're all, all a stone's throw away from that and it could be your turn Really it's, it's an awful lot what crisis centre ministries do here really it's only a tragic shame that there aren't many more wild geese. <laughs> One of my mates got this a couple of months after me, he got the same tattoo as me. So that annoyed me a bit. Yeah. Representing the two sides of life, isn't it? There's a happy side and a sad side to everything. <laughs>